Hey y'all, so today is Monday. My first vlog just aired and on YouTube, here on YouTube, and I'm so excited because so many of you guys are loving it, so yay! I'm so excited you guys are enjoying. I am going to actually be doing weekly vlogs. Well, I don't know, basically I'll be uploading every Monday at 1 p.m. will be a new vlog, and it'll just be random snippets of that past week that you guys can see and enjoy. Let's talk about my hair right now. My hair is looking a mess because I am about to um, wand it and then add in my extensions. So I've been playing around with these clip-ins that I've had for like a year, like a long time. Um, as you guys know, like the last tutorial I did was like my blue bang and hair and stuff. And I'm like just in this really creative mood like these days to like try different styles. Um, and so I'm doing this style with wand hair but also adding in my extensions to get really like long wanted curls and so I did actually kind of the same style for the video that I shot with Missy with yesterday which was like a twist out but I just wanted the uh, clip-ins so that it kind of blended with my own hair and it looked really good so I was like oh my gosh this is gonna look even better if I actually blew out my hair and wanded um, all of my hair and then added the wanded clip-ins so my hair has actually been stretched um, for the last couple days because I had the twist in and then like unraveled them wore it out and then twisted it again last night so I do have a little bit of product buildup but I used um, let me show y'all I used the Carol's daughter dry shampoo it's this one right here um, to fix like just freshen up my roots and stuff because I have been working out y'all I ran earlier today usually my workouts with Brandy will be Monday Wednesday Friday and then I'll do cardio by myself for like 25 30 minutes Tuesday and Thursday but um, she had a double booking today so I switched it up so I'll be I did cardio today and then I'll go Tuesday Wednesday and Friday to see her and then cardio on Thursday hey y'all what's up so it is Wednesday I keep wanting to say today is Thursday but um, I just got my nails done so I got them like this like really pink uh, nude I don't know these remind me of like Barbie <laughs> nails um, I don't know what possessed me I've never gotten this shape before but I really really like them there's something new for me something different um, I initially planned on just getting next gen by themselves so like no tips but then I changed my mind last minute so I ended up getting tips and made them longer but eventually I will get rid of my tips and do just my regular nail with next gen on top if you don't know, Next Gen is amazing. It's like a better um, alternative to acrylic. Um, if you don't like acrylic, which I don't, it really hurts your nail. Um, you can try Next Gen if you still want to get like that hardness without using like gel or shellac. It lasts a long time. So that's why I love getting it. Um, I am having some Starbucks outside. I'm trying this um, coconut milk macchiato ice macchiato drink that they just came out with for the first time so let's see if i like it because i really have been enjoying coconut milk i've been like killing the pink drink the strawberry acai refresher with coconut milk instead of water that has been my summer drink but i wanted to try something more like coffee ish so we'll see yeah it's okay i mean it's all right i mean i'm not super well I don't know. I don't know. Mm. What the hell? Oh. That's what. I'm not even going to drink this. Why? Because I hate drizzle. I did not realize that they put like caramel. Caramel syrup or whatever in there. I can't have that first off. Uh, too much sugar. Second off, it's disgusting when you have like a really like thin cool drink. And then you got like clumps of like syrup that's disgusting so yeah i'm probably gonna toss that and just get something else um but i am about to go to the mall i have two events today so i have um one event or no this week i have an event a bud light event tomorrow night which i'll vlog of course um jason derillo is hosting and then some country singer 
and then I'll have I'm gonna be on a panel for a brunch on Sunday and that will be a scholarship brunch for the girls in our community or whatever so I'm super excited about that of course I'll be vlogging and everything as well um, but yeah I'm excited because I move next week yay and my mom and my sister and my little brother are all coming in town because my little sister is starting college um, in a couple weeks so we're moving her into her dorm and all that stuff so super exciting times um, but yeah so I'll have family in town next weekend and everything so this week is really my week too well not this week but like after this weekend next week will be my packing everything up organizing figuring out what I'm leaving what I'm taking and all that kind of stuff so It'll be interesting. It'll be a journey. Um, I, I actually enjoy packing. I hate unpacking. That's my problem. I like packing and getting stuff in boxes, but I hate unpacking. So we'll see how all this goes. Of course, Mark is going to help me, so that's nice. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to go to the mall. I'm going to try to find something to wear for tomorrow and Sunday. So I'll be taking you guys with me on my shopping trips. Um, I don't know what it is. I'm like on this fitness journey and like I'm having this feeling of like, ugh, I don't want to go to any events right now because I'm not where I want to be physically yet, but it is what it is, whatever. You have to love yourself in all stages, right? So that's what I'm doing and I'm gonna find something really cute to wear that I'll feel comfortable and beautiful in. Oh man. So, I am starting the process of cleaning out my apartment and like going through things and like throwing out old things and figuring out like what I want to take with me, what I don't. And um, on top of that, I just um, I just got off the phone with my manager and uh, I know y'all hear Erica in the background because. Um, I just felt like I needed her in this moment because um, physically and spiritually and mentally, literally, right now, I am letting go and keeping things that need to be in my life or don't need to be in my life. And so, like, when I was talking to my manager, I was she was just kind of charging me with the... Um, challenge of figuring out what my niche is and figuring out you know what is my long-term goal like career-wise what do I eventually want to do and how do I plan on getting there and you know I was telling her all these things that I thought I wanted to do but then she's like no that's not your route like you need to be doing things that are more you like basically like just kind of reiterating to me that like I need to be focused on my ability to connect with women and like that is my gift is that I connect with women let me turn my music down because I feel like it's kind of loud um sorry but um yeah like just um ugh. I don't know. I just feel defeated right now. Not defeated, but um, just stressed because, like, the conversation was very short, but it kind of just, like, made me feel the pressure of knowing that, like, a message is coming from God to you that's kind of rerouting you or kind of shaking you up a little bit and I mean that to say that like you know um, sometimes we have to be reminded of why we do what we do and who we really are and sometimes we have to hear it from other people and so we can get caught up in like life and what we're doing and um, thinking that oh this is what I'm supposed to be doing so let me do this this and this because this is what other people are doing and sometimes we have to be redirected and say hey wait a second who are you though and and what do you have to bring to the world and that is not going to be like anything else anyone else is bringing so just that conversation with my manager I don't know I'm like even getting emotional about it and I don't know why I don't know like I'm not on my period <laughs> I'm not on my period but it's kind of like one of those things that it's just like I don't know why that's so emotional for me 
I think maybe because like I've been so like I've been going in I've been going hard for like the last month straight every single day like trying to um, make sure my channel is on point making sure my website is together my social media traveling working with brands and giving you guys new content and all of these things and through all of that I have neglected to take a moment to really dive into deeper into why I love doing this deeper into why do I have the gift that I have and magnifying that gift and being able to figure out ways for me to even maximize the way that I share that gift with the world so me and my way of connecting with people especially women I haven't been focused on that as much and I feel guilty because I'm so I'm so purpose oriented so when I get like off track without even noticing I get off track because it happens to all of us we get off track we don't notice it it's kind of like when that redirection happens which is what I feel like that conversation was for me in a large way um, it's kind of like you know this is one of the hard days this is one of the hard days because like for me I try to be so correct and perfect and um, I'm very like specific on how I like my platform to look how I like to present myself and everything and it's just kind of like you know she kind of questioned like you know from the outside looking in like hey like why are you doing these things and why is that what you want to do and why why not this and she knows me so well and it's so it's just like crazy because I received every single thing that she said and I don't know why I'm freaking emotional. Ah, I don't know, but it's just emotional because I'm. I, I think it's physically, emotionally. Like I said, like I'm. I'm throwing things away, and as I'm going through my apartment because I'm low key a hoarder. I'm like going through all these memories of the things that I've been through for the last few years, and the last couple of times I've moved. I have like literally just like thrown stuff in a box and taken it with me and I've kind of been like dragging things from my past without even realizing that I was carrying it and now I'm like finally like no Jay like throw that away like let that go and it's like so emotional because again when I'm on this phone call and I'm thinking about it after because I was okay on the phone it's just like that I've been thinking about it while I've been doing cleaning it's just like whoa like you know I really have to get back to me I have to get back to and not even get back because I think that I'm pushing a level of knowing myself that I've never reached before and and honestly this summer my life has been so great like everything has just been like on 100 and now it's like okay like the next shift is coming so like now that everything is great you have to you have to become the better version of yourself again like there's another there's new levels right so I've got to start really thinking and 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 praying and meditating on you know who I am as a person and what I want to give to you all and how I want to connect with you all because like that's my goal it's like I want to feel so connected with you and I want to feel so you know so used I want to feel so used for good I want to feel so used to impact other people's lives positively so with that being said sometimes I think like I get in front of my own two feet and I'm like thinking of all these ways to like improve what I do without actually allowing God to like assist in that and show me what am I supposed to do and show me this is how you use your gift oh my god I'm like oh gosh I'm like having like you know whatever like one of those moments where you feel like okay once it comes out of your mouth like you like really understand it I yeah I don't know but um yeah that was that was that's today so today is emotional today I feel like the 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 the, the growth happening in in me like I feel like that like shift um which is crazy because I think like me on my fitness journey and like everything going on um you know it, it's 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 uh times are just insane um 
and every day is like a totally new experience so it's just different levels anyway i'm gonna stop babbling because i feel like i'm like rambling on at this point but yeah i'm gonna continue to dig deep take in and throw away things in my life physically today and for the next few days before i move plus also mentally and spiritually obviously um letting go of things that i need to let go of and then um keeping things that are true to myself and remembering the basic and most simplistic aspects of myself that make me who i am without being tainted by the world today has been a struggle like not only was i like super just all over the place earlier as you guys saw but then i get a call that like basically i've had a ton i mean a ton of money taken out of my account and basically it's like this whole fraudulent thing me and my sister's bank accounts are connected so the bank was like super confused where the transactions were coming from and all this other crap to the point where we were on the phone with the bank for like three hours literally back and forth with like multiple different people because the bank just like did not know who like they didn't know what they were doing basically until the last person we actually talked to so yeah i was dealing with that for like the last couple hours mind you like i've got to go to this event this Bud Light event, and I was like, now I'm like in a crappy mood because I really like don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay home and just chill and drink a glass of wine. But luckily this event is a Bud Light event, so at least I can drink when I get there and have a good time. My friend Gabrielle is gonna come with me and um, we're gonna hang out and you know enjoy the scene. I love Clyde Warren Park So it's one of my favorite places in Dallas So I just like go hang on a random day because they always have like food trucks and like, you know Entertainment I do like random yoga out there They have yoga classes in the mornings on the weekends during the summer that are really awesome. So I love doing that but um, It's been too hot lately to go do it though. So I haven't been lately, but yeah and it's free also. They do a lot of like free like group things out there. But anyway, so I'm going to go there in a few once Gabrielle gets here. And then obviously vlog while I'm there and show you guys everything. Um, I'm just really hoping it's not uber crazy just because I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. I just want to get there, get a drink, enjoy the scene, and then bounce. So yeah, today has just been one of those days but you know i'm just ready for it to be over so that tomorrow starts a new day and everything will be potentially hopefully prayerfully copacetic hey gabrielle Hello. we're so excited we're here at the bud light event about to be turned with jason dorillo it's kind of it's nice out here it's actually not yeah, terribly it's not hot um, there's a lot of people here, but I just took some photos and we're, there's the stage. It's really dope. It's like blue porch for Bud Light, but yeah. Now watch me. Oh, okay. 
Now watch me whip, whip, watch me nae nae. Now watch me. Gonna be like apple juice? I was like, this is disgusting. He was like, this must be your first drink. I said, yeah, I'm too Yeah, you're not ready for it. Right. You wasn't ready. Right. Oh my god. So y'all, after the day that I had, I definitely needed this drink. It's a hibiscus martini. And what are you having? This is good. Dragon Fruit Sangria. Dragon Fruit Sangria. We're at Deep Sushi and Deep Ellum. I love the sushi here and it's walking distance from my apartment. So yeah, about to eat and enjoy some drinks. Sushi. So excited. We have, what is this one? Oh, this is Crunchy Roll. No, Crunchy Roll. Spicy tuna, yes, and then shrimp you got shrimp girl. Okay, yeah. We know what we're talking about, even though we don't really know. <laughs> but it tastes good though. Ugh. I swear, the devil is busy, y'all. The devil is freaking busy. It is the next morning. It's Friday morning, and. So, because of the whole bank account situation, I was actually supposed to go buy a car today, um, which is now not happening because I can't get access to my money, which is super aggravating because when I was on the phone with the bank people yesterday for two, three hours, whatever it was, they told me basically that my account wouldn't be basically like on lockdown for a couple of days because it's just of the process. So they were like, yeah, go ahead. And um, I told them, I was like, well, I'm trying to buy a car tomorrow. So, you know, what do I need to do? And by this point it was like 6 p.m. So I was like, there was no way for me to wire transfer anything to another account at another bank or go because there's no branches for that bank that I have here where I'm at. So, um, so basically like, um, is that the dang bank? Yes. I don't even care. I don't want to talk to them right now. They're calling me back because they just had me on hold for another 20 minutes just now because I was like, okay, I, they had cut off my access to the mobile app. So I can't even access like to see my accounts right now. And then it's like, okay, I'm doing my bank loan for my car through the same bank. So I'm like, obviously, if I can't even access like my, um, I can't even access my accounts. And then I tried to go on this morning to look at my car loan so that I could make sure that I could get the documents to be able to like give to the dealer not available so i'm just like forget it i'm not even dealing with it today i am not about to have another day like yesterday so i'm just gonna let it be they said that the whole process for just like figuring everything out should take like between three to five business days which essentially is i won't have access to my account because it's friday won't have access to it for another probably four five days because of the weekend which is just convenient as hell right so Struggles! Ugh. Struggles. But anyway, I am about to go work out with Brandy, which will be good because I've got like obviously some pent up frustration and stress that I need to get out. So I'm excited to go work out with her this morning. Um, this will be the third time I worked out this week, which is great. Proud of myself. Um, this is week two also, the end of week two. Well, technically kind of. So um, yeah, I'm like halfway through the first month, which always makes me feel good because I think, you know, starting out is always the hardest. Always, always, always the hardest. So I'm excited about this. I've been sticking on to my clean eating and you know, everything. I've got my smoothie here that I have. About to start downing my pre-workout, um, which is actually very good. And uh, yeah gonna go so I will check in with you guys in a few so I'm back from working out with Brandy I feel so much better like so much better my mood has picked up 
so much. Um, one, like she's super cool and definitely becoming a friend, but also just like getting all that stress out. Like I never honestly felt like working out was a stress reliever for me before today, for real, for real. Um, I used to like not understand how that worked for people because I was like, when I go to the gym, I'm tired after, after I'm done. I don't want to do anything after I'm done. But I think it was because like I wasn't pushing myself enough so luckily when I work out with Brandy she really pushes me and like kicks my butt but in such a good way that I really am like getting everything out mentally and physically and so it just was great today we did we did legs so that was tough we did like 50 million squats like every single like uh, station we did or whatever required squats like I was doing frog jumps and burpees and uh, squatting with weight squatting backwards like all kinds of stuff yeah it was uh, intense but it was so good and I feel better um, I'm gonna just you know what I'm going to just wait about the car it's not a big deal I'm just gonna wait till next week whenever my accounts get get wrapped up at the end of the day you know I need to be grateful that my bank is taking the precautions to make sure that no one else is taking anything out of my account I can't be mad at that right like that's their job and even though they've been giving me the runaround or whatever yesterday, I still appreciate the fact that um, they're taking the precautions to make sure that like nothing else is happening. And so I have to be grateful in that. Um, you know, I feel better today and I'm ready to continue cleaning. As you can see back there, the monster of just uh, stuff <laughs> um, back there that I'm like sifting through I'm like literally pulling everything out of my closets pulling everything out of my cabinets so there's literally crap everywhere so you know today's gonna be that day today's gonna be a continuation of pulling things out getting rid of stuff cleaning up um, I'm also gonna deep condition today because I got a new hair steamer I just posted about it on Instagram stories um, and so I I'm gonna deep condition today. I'm gonna make it a more like a pampering day. I'm not gonna like do too much. I'm gonna stay home tonight. Like I'm not gonna pressure myself because I think I need to just like chill for a second. Um, it was too much stress the last couple days, so I need to chill. So yeah, I'm gonna clean up, um, shower in a second, and get on with my day. So yeah, I think this is gonna be the end of this vlog. So I appreciate you guys for watching, and stay tuned again next week for. Um, Mondays 1 p.m. is when my vlogs will go live. So until next time, thank y'all so much. Love y'all. Bye.